Hi, it's Aaron and James, and we've been tasked with taking the Nissan Leaf all the way down here in Stoke on Trent, right the way up into the north, back home to the Sunderland factory. So we decided to stop off and charge twice to see how easy and convenient it is, and also to see what range per charge we were actually getting. Let's see how we got on. Okay, so it's uh, 25 to 4 in the morning, and I'm really tired, but it, there you go. I'm going to go pick up James now from his house. Currently we're sat on 95% uh, which is giving us a range of 128 miles so there should be plenty to get us to just the other side of Leicester to charge up again. So I've got the heating on because it is only 3 degrees so we'll see how that affects the range. Um, so yeah, let's see how we go. Here he is, 4 o'clock. Morning James. Morning. How do you feel about being up at 4 in the morning? No. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we've been going for just over half an hour and uh, we're just going to give an update. So, Aaron, uh, how far have we gone? What charge have we got left? So, we've got 68 miles and we are just coming onto the M1 now. So, we're going to the sat nav. We've done just, we've got 26 left of a 60 mile journey, so 35. So, not doing too bad actually because we, we left you also 100 and we've had the heat seats and the air con and the, the heater on as well yeah, yeah I think we're doing pretty well there right so we've managed to make it to Chesterfield which is a bit further than we originally planned and we've pulled up at one of the polar points now just outside Nairis and there's a fast food chain just over there so we can go and get something while this is charging up. We've got another 53 miles to get to the other side of Leeds so we're probably not going to charge all the way because I don't think we need to um, and we've got just 30 miles left on the charger so we left with 100 I think it was just over 100 just so over we just so we've used a little bit more but to be fair we haven't we haven't followed any cars any lorries to to make it any more any more aerodynamic and efficient for us and it is four degrees so effectively we've been probably driving in the worst conditions that we possibly could yeah for the range and we've not suffered with any sort of range anxiety which is a big thing that we have to talk to people about but yeah, yeah, we've, we've done all right yeah it's been yeah, very comfortable so james how are you finding charging yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a big thank you to the ibis for letting us come in and have a uh, a, a warm drink as the, the fast food chain was shot which we couldn't believe but well, there you go could be worse yeah, so very generous of them to offer us a drink. That's uh, nice. And uh, when we came back past the charger, it was already gone to 21 percent to 30. So uh, yeah, I should think it would be approaching 50 percent now. Happy days, right then? Okay, so we do have a vested interest in this video because we obviously sell the cars and we didn't want to make it out so that it's so easy for us to get to Sunderland from Stoke. One of the things that we've come across is actually there's an electric charge bay here yet the two parking spaces surround it have been blocked up by a van and a, and a petrol car that aren't using it which and actually there's four or five six car parking spaces just over there there's a few around the corner so you know not great if this was the only charge we'd, we, we would have been able to access now come on if you do drive a petrol or a diesel car stop being lazy there's parking spaces there there's parking spaces there don't block these up for the people that need them, you know, it's, it's not fair. Right, so we're about to start the second leg of our journey. Um, as you may be able to make out on the screen here, we're up to 84% already, and that's just over half an hour of uh, charge time, um, which we've used to, actually, as we've mentioned earlier, walk across to the local fast food place, find that's not open, but the Ibis gave us a nice drink, and then we did the little video on the other charger, and then come back out, so it's not been any great hardship at all and it was nice to have a little break too so on to the second leg so uh, we're about 13 miles away from our second charge point uh, we're down to 52 percent that's 73 miles of range so plenty still not feeling any range anxiety at all to be honest uh, and this is our first long journey in one of these vehicles as well but we are a bit more accustomed to them obviously uh, selling them as uh, than most people but yeah um, I think the most urgency I've got right now is finding a toilet when we stop. Okay so we just pulled up to the uh, hotel and spa charge point in Weatherby and uh, when we got here the unit wasn't working so I've just rang uh, Polar Plus Customer Services they've just uh, advised me that they're just resetting the unit now which I don't know if you can see so fingers crossed in a couple of minutes we'll be back charging again.
Okay, so it's been roughly two minutes since I made the call and we are back online. So we'll choose our membership card, tap on. There we are. There we go, let's just plug them in. And 50 kilowatt. We're just about to set off on the final leg, which is uh, 84 miles to get us to the Sunderland plant. So I think we're going to just go straight for it now, aren't we? And head all the way up. It's been yeah. quite a pleasurable experience, considering when we got here, the charger was uh, not working, and they fixed it for us within two minutes. It was a little bit of a little bit of panic, but actually ringing the customer services, I was through within 30 seconds, and they'd fixed it within two minutes. I really can't fault it. So. Uh, it's been great. Uh, some of the things that we have used that we did want to mention uh, on the way up here was Pro Pilot. That's been brilliant in terms of being on the motorway for a long journey, the car steering and braking for us. That was really nice and easy. And then the other one is the e pedal. That's uh, regenerated a couple of miles for us, I think. And obviously, nice. we, we don't really use the brake pedal that much unless we need to. It's been really nice and comfortable and i think that's what both me and james would agree that actually it's been a really relaxed way of getting up here with no stress i think you agree it has yeah no range anxiety um by the time i'd done a five minute loose stop the charger was sorted and, and collected and charging um and a really nice little cool feature we noticed as well is on the screen it actually says if you're here for longer than is it an hour? 90 minutes, yeah. 90 minutes. If you're longer than 90 minutes, then it is a £10 per hour connection fee, um, which we thought was interesting because it will stop people from just plugging in and then leaving their car for the day or something like that. So, so that's something that we've learned today as well. Yeah, there's a little bit of pre-planning. We did call the hotel last night and just made sure that it was okay to charge and do a little bit of filming here on behalf of Holcroft Nissan, and they were absolutely fine with it. And We've just been in and they, they were they were lovely and they were mentioning that they are seeing a lot more people coming to use the charge and actually using the facilities as well. So yeah. I think for a lot of businesses, it is going to be the way forward getting these points installed. But today we're only using Polar. We've, we've not included Ecotricity. We've not included uh, any of the Zap Maps app. So there's hundreds more charges available, but we chose to go with Polar for today's uh, exercise and obviously tomorrow on the way back as well. But yeah, no, it's been great, hasn't it, so far? Yeah, been really yeah. good. Yeah, cool. and thanks to Woodhull uh, Hotel and Spa for the free mug of tea. Yeah. All right, here we are then. Welcome Please to well Nissan well Sunderland. First exit. So we've arrived with, if we just show you down here, 22% left, 33 miles. After 200 Which is uh, pretty good, we feel. We've, we've done about 125 miles on a whole charge we've just worked out if we added it all together but we've also with the two stops we've did we've actually done it with a reserve of 30 percent at the first two stops and we've got 22 percent left now so we've actually uh had 82 percent charge in reserve for this journey so we could have easily done it in one charge but as i say we wanted just to see what it was like so that's it, we're in Sunderland now. We're gonna go round the plant. We're on charge, ready for go towards Gateshead tonight. But that's it from us. It's been quite easy actually, I would, would agree. Yeah, it's a very relaxing journey. Yeah, not too not too bad, not too stressful. Um, we we did kind of figure it out in the end that we we didn't use 60% of the charge that we, we, we could have used because of the stops that we made. Um, so I think tomorrow on the way back, we're probably just gonna stop off at the motorway service station, use a debit card and rather than going a bit out of the way to the hotel and, and doing it that way. But all in all, it was a good journey. And uh, I, it's definitely settled my sort of anxiety that I had with r the range and that kind of stuff because of doing big, big journeys in the car. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Just a little bit of pre-planning the night before and it made life a, a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, maybe total 15 minutes in planning. If that, it was just a case of writing down the postcodes, writing down the mileage and just checking that we could get there, which to be fair, it took a while, but I don't think we, we didn't rush. We didn't make, we you know, we, we spent probably 40 minutes over that we actually needed to and you actually considered yeah. what charge we needed for the stop so we could have probably not 40 minutes off which would have made it a just under four hour journey yeah so not not bad at all really it's to do 200 miles is all right i think yeah, yeah brilliant right well that's it and uh, job done